That one word is misdirection. <laughs> that's it. It's all misdirection. That's true. And here's how it works. If I know where you're looking, automatically I know where you're not looking. It stands to reason. If I can direct your attention towards something, that means I can misdirect your attention away from something else. That's how it's done. L allow me to demonstrate. It's a simple mystery with a yellow pocket knife. Watch the pocket knife. I do nothing. I push it through my hand, and nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Drive home carefully. Thank you. Now, that's because I have not yet used the power of misdirection. Here's the misdirection. What's that over there? Look. Red. I sprinkle it in. It changes the yellow knife to red. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I agree, but who are we against so many? <laughs> I'll do it again. It's red. Unless I use misdirection, sprinkle it like this, it changes back to yellow. See how it works every single time? Red, yellow, yellow, red. I'll tell you what, I'll explain how it's done. The misdirection is not really when I reach over there. I was misdirecting you. The real misdirection is when I'm showing you the knife. Everybody looks at the knife, right? Everybody's looking at this hand. Nobody ever notices my left hand, which casually goes into the pocket. <laughs> yeah, I take out the dupe. <laughs> right. Did anybody notice that the first few times? Yeah, I know, misdirection, very strong stuff. But once you have the extra knife hidden in your hand, keep it hidden, so that tips the gap. Keep it hidden. All you have to do is switch the knives. Now that part takes practice. <laughs> I'll do it again, I'll switch them back, you see? Of course, never let the audience see both knives, that ruins the trick. Now here's a better way to do the switch, because the hands never get close together. Much better technique. Look, this, this far apart, red knife way down there, yellow knife way up here. They never get close. Watch. It's a much better technique. I think you'll agree. But I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not uh, actually at liberty to disclose the details of this particular technique. But here's a strange thing. It's red on both sides unless I only rub one side. And if I tap it, then only one side changes. The other side stays the way it was. So what's the dang dog and deal on that? <laughs> you might want to check that knife out for yourself. Yeah, that's right. And it works with any side. And you don't even have to change the whole knife. Look, just one side. Look, I'll just change it halfway. Snap the fingers. That stops the color changing process right in the middle. Oh, good grief. <laughs> good grief. Ooh, good grief. You realize we'll have to edit that out later. <laughs> now, if you ever do this at home, and I highly recommend that you do, <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop halfway. Don't put your thumb in the middle, because that usually smudges right where the two colors join. Oh. But once it's dried, it's dried for life. Everything could be examined. And as always, you finish clean. <laughs> <laughs> wow.